What I love about Cheam the most is that we have all these amazing grounds. We have woodlands that have streams in them and bridges going over those streams and dens and muddy areas and adventure trails that run through. And the children have the facility to be able to go out and use all those areas, as well as our playground, which is massive, with a sensory garden and a gardening area. They're so excited to get out the car and get going in their day. She always runs and she absolutely loves school. She's four, she just started at reception and she's a very happy little girl who loves being at school, loves being here. I join them together, how many do I have them together? Ten. Okay. They are amazing, these children. They just come in in the mornings ready to learn and buzzing with energy and we stand at the gate and the children just run in. They're always excited about coming in, but most importantly, they bounce out. They are filled with stories about their days, whether it's from going on a woodland learning and finding a big golden toad, uh, or who they sat next to at lunch, or what games they played. We're really encouraging the children to explore in the woods and the grounds and to use all the facilities that we've got safely and securely. We can supervise and we can give them the independence that they need and encourage them to take risks in that environment as well. We're going to make guardians of the trees, okay? We can find an oak tree or you could find a fir tree or you could... It's very much seen as a really important part of the curriculum in order to develop their sense of independence and their sense of self as well. A big smiley mouth. It's wonderful because these small classes and they can all interact, they can all speak. They copy me and because I'm French they will say bonjour, they will say merci, not mercy and, and you know and so on. The journey within nursery is to be able to have lots of fun and to learn at the same time. What day comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday, that's right. Do you want to come put Wednesday on the board? When they come, they're so little, some of them are quite shy, they don't know how to engage with the children. They then develop that in nursery and build strong friendships, which is such a special thing to see. The nursery is about developing their character and their personality and feeling confident to learn and to be ready to prepare to go for a reception where they will spend a little bit more time on focused activities. Good boy, 2020. That's like the boy. With early years, it's very much every child comes in at a different level um, and we have a place where we want to get them to. And they all get there, which is amazing, but they all get there at different times. So after French, we're going to get changed into our clothes, into our PE kit, ready for yoga before lunch. Whatever a child's into, they can do here. There's yoga, there's French, they have PE, the woodland learning. We make sure that we really find what a child loves and what they're going to thrive in and we give them those opportunities in that area. Brilliant work, well done. Can I take it now? It's about giving the children the tools to really consolidate those skills and build on the skills that they are learning constantly and doing that through, through their own initiation and through our support. Butterflies in the shining in the sunny sky, ducklings swim. Did you really write all of that yourself? Yeah. Do you know what? It feels like springtime in my office now. If you've got 20, 10, 10, 5, 5, does that make four? Five, 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 50. So can you use one type of coin to make yes, that 50? Like that. Most of our learning, right from down in nursery, is all practical. And as we head towards year two, it's still there's still elements of it there. Some lessons we have it, sometimes we don't. Smiling is infectious. A spike malignant. Smiling is infectious. We find that although they're year two, and actually a lot of them, particularly with the maths, are, they're very bright. They can already do a lot of calculations in their head, which is brilliant. We'll always encourage that. But 
Children at this age particularly really need those physical resources in front of them. That's it. Can you hold that, Josh? How the thing that's most special about year two is that it's the end of the pre-prep journey for them, so it's it's an exciting time for the children. Go. It's a time where they feel most grown up, and it's just kind of that real excitement of kind of ending that pre-prep journey before they move on to the prep school. Ready, off we go. The centre of everything that we do is the children, what their needs are and where we go with them and their education and their mental health um, and their joys and their disappointments and their achievements are very much how the staff and I see the children. <laughs> it's very important to focus on the idea of us as a family and as a community, as a pre-prep. And if we're all working together and we're promoting that ethos, then we can get the job done in a far more effective way. It's a fantastic place to, to have your children educated and the pre-prep gives a great basis of education before you go into the prep school. The teachers are so supportive and loving and it's like a family being here. I think it just gives a great basis on so many levels. Do you want to have a go now? From an educational point of view and a friendship point of view and gives them so much confidence and support. Butterflies are coming well, they've out. They've all grown in confidence, all becoming more articulate. That's a lovely poem. They're learning a diverse range of things very quickly. It's not just all about the maths and the English. The fact that they're being taught to be interested in different areas, whether it's outside, whether it's French, whether it's music, whether it's drama, and therefore I feel that they're um, already becoming quite rounded little people.